So the next section called using algebra to simplify trigonometric expressions is a bit of a grab bag. It contains two kind of related but not identical topics. The first topic is essentially factoring. So you may know from algebra, in fact, we gave this as an example of an identity in an earlier video. that x squared minus y squared can be factored as x plus y times x minus y. So the first thing this section wants us to observe is that if instead of x's and y's, we have trigonometric functions, say we have the sine squared of x, minus the tangent squared of x, then we can think of having an, this is a little messy because x is being used in mutually contradictory ways here, but I hope it's um, not unclear, we've got something squared minus something else squared. And this factors like so. I'm getting right to the edge of the screen. Zoom doesn't love that. There we go. So it's sometimes beneficial to remember that we can factor trigonometric expressions in this way. Um, the other thing that the textbook talks about in this section is that we can use algebra, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, to sometimes simplify trigonometric expressions, or if not simplify them, at least rewrite them. For example, this is a very common example. Suppose we have a fraction of trig functions. In this case, the sine divided by the tangent. Well, the sine and the cosine are sort of the building block trig functions. If we have a choice, I think we'd usually rather work with sines and cosines than tangents. So we can remind ourselves that the tangent is a fraction. The tangent is the sine divided by the cosine. And this simplifies, let me write the details out, because we've got the sine in the numerator of both these fractions 
the sign cancels. And this is one divided by the cosine. And you could leave that B. I mean, I said that if we have a choice, it's nice to have sines and cosines. So maybe I shouldn't make a hypocrite of myself. Or we can say, well, one divided by the cosine is the secant. In any event, we've just used algebra here, just in scare quotes. I'm not claiming this is easy, but we have used, you know, we have a fraction of fractions and we simplified the fraction of fractions in the standard way, the same way we would if instead of having trig functions, we'd had like seven over seven ninths or something. No, the, the sevens would cancel here. The signs cancel in exactly the same way.